All right, let's talk about batteries. This time around, we have another set that's a bit unusual. This battery module right here is the first module that we have two different versions, but it's from the same car, uh, just different years, I think. And they have slightly different specs, but most of, most of it is the same. This is a Audi e-tron module. And I think the early version is this one. It has pouch cells inside and it's fully sealed. Right, that's this, this design right here. Uh, let's look at the specs here. Is lithium ion battery, so regular NMC, you know, EV battery. Cell stage C3, nominal voltage is 10.7. And it says right there, 3S4P. That's a configuration. Three cells in series, four cells in parallel. The cool thing about these modules is that you can make a bunch of voltages with them, right? Like, because it's 3S, then you can do the regular 6S by putting two of these together, or the regular 12S by putting four of them together. And they're 240 amp hours, so 2.6 kilowatt hours. So you'll end up with a bigger battery at the, at, you know, at the 44 volt. 12S uh, configuration, right? But like with less modules and less cabling and stuff right so if you need that that might be an advantage for you depending on whatever you're building right um so then this is i think this is an early version i'll put the years that this came in and then the new version of this is this one right here and the difference between this one and that one is that this is prismatic cells and it's actually it's, it's the same I, I think the dimensions are identical you could swap these in between and this one is also a 3s4p they wrote it backwards there. This one, the voltage is slightly higher. The nominal voltage is 11.1, .1, or this one is 10.7, right? But this one, the nominal capacity is 288 amp hours, which makes this module a whopping three kilowatt hours. This thing is tiny. It's tiny. It's like some of these other modules that we're getting, they're like a two, 2.1, uh, right the the capacity on these and this one is a 3.1 kilowatt hours so these cells whatever cells they're using in here they're prismatic they just hold that much more energy their energy density is higher and this is pretty uh built pretty like pretty like tight it doesn't have a lot of fluff it doesn't have a lot of wasted space and a lot of materials right so i think that's how they are end up being able to put more capacity in the same size module. Uh, they have the same type of connectors, but they have different keys, so they're not interchangeable. This one luckily doesn't have any circuitry in there, so you don't have to modify it. You basically just connect the connector there. You have access to all the cell terminals. And the uh, this one right here has little fuses in there in case you make a mistake. Those fuses will blow and they won't burn all your cabling. Uh, it has temperature sensors also. All that stuff ends up right here and it's really easy to figure out the uh, the wiring schematic here so that so that you can get the, the pin out, right? Um, the same thing with this one right here. It's got all that stuff. It's just, you can't see it because it's inside, it's sealed inside of this canister. So it really depends like what you want. If you want the extra capacity, then this one's will make more sense to you. But if you want the ability to have these sealed, like like as they are like this, for better protection or whatever, then this might work better for you. Uh, if the 3S works for you, then this is a really, really good and really affordable uh, battery modules that are right now on our website, right? So you can choose, these ones are gonna be a little bit more expensive because, well, they have more capacity. And so these ones are are newer and there's less of these ones. These ones, there's more. And so, yeah, we'll put a, a lower price on this one so we can move these ones uh, faster. And so there you go, go to jack35.com and then you'll be able to find those in there. They both have the same uh, M6 threaded bolts in here and there's an A and B. So when you're designing your custom application for these, keep that in mind that there's gonna be A and B and all that is, it's like this one, for example, has the connector on the negative. And then this one has it on the positive. So that's the only difference on the between the A and Bs, right? So that you can put two of these modules side by side and you'll have the connectors on the same side, right? Like, so there we go. The negative is here, negative is here. So they run the same thing, but the connectors are gonna be on the on that side. So yeah, just in case when you're designing this, your custom car,
car conversion or whatever you're going to do. If you're going to do a DIY power wall on this one, you can use these for pretty much anything. At these uh, configurations, you can build any, any, almost any voltage with them, right? So there you go. Go to jack 5com You can see them there. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.